Hi guys, welcome back, to my, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I will be making the part three of the HTML website, in which we will be discussing about how to make two lists, and these are the list types of lid lists. HTML website type, uh, the two types of lists are ordered lists, ordered lists, and unordered lists. So before I start uh, with the coding, I just want to make an announcement that by next week I will be. Uh, I will be done with buying my new laptop and then we will be again resuming in, sh in a short period of time very soon I will be resuming the Arduino tutorials with new sensors and new Arduino types so I just want to tell that subscribe like and share and also give me a comment in the feedback in the comment section below so let's begin the video by so first we have to open the notepad first I will be making the same web page, but uh, but and both of the lists will be on the same web page. So first, just like always, what we do is that we open our angle bracket and we write HTML. We then close it and then we enter and I head and then we write title. Okay, guys, so after writing title, we write the name of our web page, which will be displayed on the tab, which is, I will be writing types. I'm just, uh, uh, yeah, eight, one, give, give me a second. Let me just make the Y short alphabet. Yeah, types of lists. So I just want to tell that HTML is a very simple and easy way to do uh, coding. And if you are beginner to coding, or uh, and you are you a beginner, then uh, I will highly recommend you to start with HTML and with videos uh, by learning because HTML is something which you really really enjoy when you have that dream and you really want to explore the world of computer programming then i promise you that you will be really really inspired when you do practically html you won't be you won't know how much you learn you won't be able to imagine how much html helps you in becoming a good programmer so that is the reason why i have started to make videos on html okay so after we have written the title we close the title tag by the backslash the title backslash and the head closed okay so oh we made a spelling mistake yeah so after i, I this i leave a line and then i write body wait a second yeah body bg color American English required not British because it will not work if we use the uh, British English So I will be selecting yellow as my background color and I will close the tag Okay, so I again leave a line and then I open a tag and I write font color Equals red <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah font color is equals to red size just to make sure that we don't mess up with the spacing. So red, and then I give a space and I write size. Okay, and which is five. I'll keep five. And font equals to. I will be copying the font from here. Okay, so I'll be selecting. I want the lucy diane right in lucy i'm just trying to find out lucy the sans type yeah here it is i just want to copy it okay 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 so i just type it in i don't know why it's not copying so lucy the sans typewriter typewriter and close the speech marks with the angle bracket okay 
So then we give a space, a line space, and then we give the heading. Now this is something which you, we really have to give attention on because this is really important. And if we miss a single thing or we mess up with something, it will be really difficult to heal it up. So I give the heading of ordered list first because ordered list will become first ordered lists. Okay. And then I write I write the break tag BR and then again I write because I live in Pakistan Pakistan is my country so I will be writing about it so in a con uh, cars in Pakistan cars in Pakistan story the spelling again Pakistan okay or maybe cars why not give the heading of cars only yeah cars cars and then i write again the br tag okay and then i write order and i give again I, in the next one i write ol which means which stands for ordered list okay so OL stands for order list just me just my cam camera OL and then I in the next line I write LI okay like this copy the format so that you get the perfect thing which you really want okay so OL and beneath it I write LI and then I write the company of the car Kia I cro uh, close the uh, list list uh, angle bracket like this, and again I write this. I keep copying it in the company of Hyundai. Oh, sorry. Okay, like this. Okay, so next one, next company is. Honda Okay Honda and Like this the next company is Honda and after that the last company is Toyota which I about which I'm writing Toyota Okay Like this and I close the ally bracket so I am again repeating that please don't mess up with the format otherwise you will not get the website which you want. Okay, so underneath oh I just backspaced it. Sorry. Yeah. So now I am on the next line and at the end I write I open the I close the ordered list bracket like this and I leave two spaces. Then I close my font. Okay, my font then my body my body and the HTML uh, yeah HTML and I close it and I now save it so it will ask me so I will select my desktop because it was very easy for me so I give my file the name of list dot html so guys i'm I, I repeat in every html tutorial i repeat i am always repeating that please please don't forget to add this extension of html or even if if you if you give a space between it it will not work and if you don't give this extension your website will not become an html website okay so this dot html and i save it on the desktop it is saved so I just minimize it and you'll see that over here you'll see this list with the name over here is given oh my god you see guys yeah guys so actually in my the spelling mistake I then I was uh, I didn't saw that my spelling mistake was of the color was wrong it was uh, uh, it was missing an L so I wrote it and now uh, you can see that this is the order list cars with the heading and here is the name 
of the tab types of lists. So in the same page, I will be continuing with the unordered list. So just Beanie, uh, so just before I start with the order, uh, the unordered list, I just want to show you something that how to change. That if you want to change these one, two, three, four, these bullets, I will show you a way that how we can change these bullets types and that is how that after the ol just after the ol we write i give a space and write type we write type like this and we give it the equal sign and if you want to capital if you want the bullets to be capital letters we write a we uh, press control s and we'll be going to the Chrome, and you'll see that all of these. And when I refresh it, refresh my website, the bullets have been changed to capital letters of the alphabets. I still, if there are also many other bullet types and word also. Uh, these bullets, if I, I'm, I'll try my best to show. Yeah. So these are the types of main types of bullets so we will be trying with all of these bullets okay guys so uh, where you have where we have written type is equals to a we will uh, backspace a and if you want small small letters and alphabets I write this I will press control s and I will go to Chrome and I will refresh it and you can see that all of the bullets have been turned into small letters okay so just like that if you want it to be ro in Roman numerals I write small i like this as you can see over here small i and I control s press control s and I go to chrome and I go to you see that all of the bullets have been turned into roman numerals and so guys I just want to tell you that this video might be become a bit lengthy because I have to cover a lot of things in it and and they themselves are also very lengthy so don't uh, so don't think that I'm just uh, making waste of time because it is really important to discuss every single thing because many people uh, miss some tags and they don't know and they are just double minded and don't know what to do. So guys, if you want to turn the Roman numerals into big Roman numerals and the capitalized, then we write uh, the big uh, capitalized I, I press control S. I go to Chrome and I refresh it and you see that the, uh, the Roman numerals have capitalized. Okay. So these are the four types of the uh, the bullets, and now I will be I will just uh, be doing the uh, we will be doing the unordered lists. So just beneath the O L, what I will do is that I will write I will give a space and I will write B R brig tag like this. It is very easy, guys. Just focus and you know what just what to do. Okay. So after BR, I write unordered lists, unordered lists, uh, I, think, uh, I have to give a dash between these underscore, well, not underscore, just dash, and beneath the unordered list, I again write the break tag, okay, so beneath the break tag, I write cars again. But this time, it will uh, just I will just copy these car names except for the OL thing. I don't need that because I will change it. Okay, so I will just copy because these the same thing will come over here. So beneath the cars, uh, I will write UL for unordered lists, and then beneath I will control V. Okay, so uh, beneath this, I will write the other close the uh, unordered list tag. I will give some space between this, and you'll see that after that, we will be having. Let me just check. Yeah, so after this, uh, we will press Control S and we'll go to Chrome. I will refresh the page. And you see that the unordered lists have appeared over here with the heading, with the car heading. And the the difference between ordered list and unordered list is that the ordered lists are numbers, but the unordered lists are 
They are not numbered and they are bulleted and, they can, and their format cannot be changed. But the, but the format of these bullets in the ordered list can be changed very easily. And there are many ways of which four of them I have showed you. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, then please don't forget to smash the subscribe button with the post notifications on. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you admire and appreciate my appreciate my uh, the, uh, the video and give me feedback in the comment section below because your feedback is very uh, it is very valuable for me and it helps me a lot in, in, uh, to do improvement in my youtube channel so like share and subscribe give me a feedback about my editing and all of those things the content and what type of videos do you want me to uh, what content do you expect me or want me to make in future so i told you that uh next week probably by next week hopefully i will be again resuming with the arduino tutorial i try my best so stay tuned like share and subscribe yeah uh, i also told you uh if you have followed me on instagram the fo my followers would know uh, know that i have made an announcement of a giveaway so if you want to participate in the giveaway, I will give the instructions in the description box below. You can read the uh, instructions, follow the instructions and participate in the giveaway with Arduino tutorials and sensors, which might be very valuable or projects. Okay, so like, share and subscribe. Bye.